Welcome to our five on five. Well, please welcome back Rod Lowe from the Southern Oregon Horse Racing Association. Sorry, Thank good you. to see you, sir. Thank you for having us. So pretty successful season out there, the first fall season at the Downs. You're happy. Very successful. 14 days and uh, we had a little uh, hiccup with some rain one Sunday that caused us to cancel a few races just for safety purposes. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, we had a, a fantastic race meet. Okay, and one of the one of the things that that impressed me, you know, and, and I'm I'm not I'm not involved with your finances, but uh, you had a couple hundred thousand dollar days. Yeah, now, is we, that hundred thousand dollars bet is that is that revenue? How does how, it's it's bet? It? It's how sure. much is bet? So we get a percentage off of that for the racetrack itself. But yeah, we hit an all time high the last day. We we did a ho over one hundred thirty thousand dollars in wagering that day. Oh, wow, that's impressive, and and not all that's happening there. Um, how does that work? Because people, I guess, people who like to play the ponies, as we're as we're right. saying, you know, trying right. to be trying to get with the lingo, uh, right. they they can bet from anywhere. Are they betting online? Are they betting at, at certain sites, casinos, if you yeah, will? Yeah, yeah. So we probably had about seventy five percent of our handle, which is our betting, that actually came from other racetracks, uh, places that we contracted with, whether it was Churchill Downs or. Del Mar or wherever it might have been that there was other racetracks that took our signal and so uh, their patrons could come and wager at those sites also on Grants Pass and it all comes into the same pool. Okay. So the people that are betting on track or betting off track, it all makes one big pool through our wagering handle. Okay, and now where uh, is that money uh, being used to advance the track and, and moving forward? I know the season's over now, but but we're you know we're spring is not that far away because we're doing spring and fall now. Uh, what what does that look like? Absolutely, we have uh, lots of plans coming up for the future. We want to go to a ten horse gate this year, so that would allow us to uh, expand the track, make it a little bit wider, make it a little bit longer, so we can run a little bit longer quarter horse races some 440 yard races and also run a three quarter mile race out of the chute, which would be a six furlong race. Hmm. Okay, and, and now get, adding those two extra horses going from eight to 10, also you said helps the, the betting public. How does that work? Yeah, so uh, people who wager on races want to see as many horses in the gate as they can because it, it helps with the odds. And when you get better odds, people make better money especially those professionals that know how to really handle, you know, bet on those races and, and makes the handle bigger, puts more money into the pools, which allows more money to come back to the, to the better. Interesting. Okay, breaking it down. I'm, yeah. I'm a layman, of course. So I appreciate <laughs> you doing that. All right, yeah. we're going to take a quick commercial break. Okay. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Thanks. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Rod Lowe from SORA, the Southern Oregon Horse Racing Association, kind of wrapping up the, the fall season, the first fall season at the Grants Pass Downs. Uh, you said you had 400 horses come in and, and race it at the various meets. Did that meet your expectations? Yeah, so we didn't know if we could get that many horses. We put, we put up as many stalls as we could possibly put up, which was we had, I think, about 480 stalls altogether. And uh, we had over 400 horses into those stalls this year. And uh, we were super happy. We had full fields. Uh, we have an eight horse gate and we actually averaged over seven horses per race. Mm -hmm. So uh, full fields had a great, had a great meet. And, and with that being, you know, this past season being the first fall season for, for the Downs is, you know, sh telling people, you know, hey, 400 horses, we can support that. We're continuing to grow. Does that help you bring in even more uh, oh, yeah. for, the, for this next season? Yeah. yeah, everybody had a great experience. So the people that did come, you know, I expect them to tell other trainers, other owners, pick up more horses, even come with more horses next year. And uh, for the most part, everything we heard from trainers and owners that were there want to come back. Hmm. And, and now they're coming from all over. They're not just from the Northwest. That's correct. We had horses from Nebraska, Idaho, Montana, California, Washington. So a lot of uh, a lot of horses came from di some different areas that we've never had before. Mm. And and we talked about this being the first fall season. Of course, I guess you're starting in spring because it's yep. you know. So it's is it May? May through? 10th is our first opening day this next spring in 2020, and we run until about the middle of July. Then we take a little break, 
and then we start up again in September again and run until November like we did this fall. Okay. So it's going to be 35 days of total racing next year. Okay, so those those people who love to come out on the 4th of July, they'll still get to do that. Yes. So even though we're spring and spring yeah. and fall, they're taking care of July. Yeah, June. we'll still do the Father's Day. We'll actually do Memorial Day this year cool. and 4th of July and Labor Day, so we'll get we'll get some uh, a lot of good holidays. We'll get some good holidays in there. <laughs> sounds, it sounds a ways in the future, but with how busy you guys are, it'll be here before we know it. Good to yeah. see you. Thanks Thank very much. Thank you. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.